Hi, I'm Ben Messenger for Waste Management World. We're in Munich at EFAT in Zorga 2012. I'm on the Canby stand with Wojtek. Wojtek, I understand Canby are developing a 50,000 tonne food waste facility in Oslo at the moment. Can you tell us a little about that? Yes, uh, that's right. Uh, we was awarded a contract last year and we are uh, commissioning the plant right now and it will be started up in December this year. It's a quite interesting project. Um, uh, the climate goals for the municipality of Oslo is very high. So instead of uh, landfilling material, instead of incinerate material, they, they uh, decided to sort out household waste, food waste from the household, and establish a biogas plant to produce biogas and replace the uh, diesel-driven uh, buses and trucks in the center of Oslo with biogas. So uh, the main goal with this project is to recycle and utilize food waste, uh, produce biogas, and after the process we will also produce biofertilizer from the, uh, uh, from the process. And that biofertilizer is very nutrient, so it will be disposed to local farmers around the region. We will support approximately 100 local farmers, medium-sized farms, with biofertilizer. And we will support approximately 130 buses, locust buses, with biogas. So it's a very unique project. And in addition to that, we will also clean our own produced process water, which is very unique. So we have installed an evaporation process uh, with sulfuric acid um, uh, added in the front end. So we will, after the process, we will produce almost a clean, drinkable water quality, which is also very unique. And Vote, can you just tell us um, briefly how the thermal hydrolysis process increases the efficiency of the biogas production? Yeah, thermal hydrolysis is actually a uh, pressure cooking system. So we preheat the, the food waste up to approximately 97 centigrade. Then we pump the material into one of the three available reactors. We add steam at the bottom and we increase the temperature and raise the temperature up to 150 160 centigrade we pressure cook it for approximately 20 minutes to fulfill the legislation then we release the pressure very rapidly and when we release uh, the pressure the steam explosion occurs and we will make the uh, food and the material more fluid so uh, we disintegrate all the cells so the enzymes in the digester can easily feed the organic material, produce faster biogas and produce more biogas. And, and the material is totally pathogen free, 100%, which means that the end product, the biofertilizer, is almost odor free and nutrient as well. Well, Wojtek, I know our readers have been following this project and I'm sure they'll continue to do so. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much.